So here we have the Exchange Management Console for Exchange 2010. You'll notice that the default exchange organisation that I'm looking at is always the on-premises organisation. But I am able to add an additional exchange forest so I can manage an additional on-premises forest. Or in fact, I can also um, add an exchange online forest. So this allows me to add an additional exchange organisation. It will add it to the Exchange Management Console and you're then able to at least have a common management console for all of your exchange environments. When I connect to this um, forest, I'll need to put in the remote PowerShell URL. So the um, management is always done through remote PowerShell and it's that feature that allows us to have cross-forest management. Some of the other new features you'll see for the on-premises version is we've provided this overall organisational summary. This organisational summary will show you the number of databases. This is a demo system, so I don't have too many of them. But it gives you a licence summary to give you an idea of how many users you have that are using either standard or enterprise features, as well as showing you a snapshot of the number of services you've got in your environment and the recipients in your environment. And this is something that can be updated um, as required, so it's not something that's continuously polling the server. The other changes we've made around um, managing attributes of either recipients or distribution groups or any of the objects within Exchange. So I have a group of users here and they all happen to have uh, moved to a new location. So I want to change the location of a group of users. So I can now do a multi-select. I go to the properties and it will display the, the properties that I have access to to change. And in this case, all of my users have moved to London, so I'll change them from London and change the country for them. And when I click OK, it will tell me I'm about to do a bulk edit. These are the changes I need to make. When I click OK, it will actually make those changes to all of the users and give me a summary as to what's happened. So when I go into one of those users and I go into the address and phone, I can see that the city and the country have indeed changed. One of the other changes that um, we have in the Exchange Management Console is for individual um, commands, you've always been able to see um, the command that's put in there. But for individual attribute changes, as I change this attribute now, you'll notice that this icon on the bottom here has lit up. When I click on there, that will now show me the Exchange Management Shell command that's been used to modify a particular parameter um, within an object. So it gives me more granular um, control as to looking at what exchange management shell commands are being run. The other addition we've done for exchange management commands is you can now actually go to the view menu and look at the Windows, sorry, the Windows PowerShell command log. This shows you a log of all of the PowerShell commands that have been executed during this EMC session. So if we scroll to the bottom, we can see that um, the last thing we did was get an identity for Alan. We can see that in the middle here, we made some changes to a group of users, and it shows us the uh, PowerShell command that was used to make that change to that group of users. You're able to take this list. It's not persisted across uh, Exchange Management Shell, uh, Exchange Management Console sessions, but you are allowed, uh, able to export that list to a CSV or a text file to be able to use that, um, those commands, uh, perhaps for a script if you want to automate things. Among the other changes we've made is we've rearranged some of the, um, the options within um, the management console to take into account changes that we've made to the Exchange product. So database management is now an organisational function to support the high, new high availability features in Exchange 2010. And we're able to do things like manage um, the membership of a database availability group, which is again one of the new high availability features. All of the RBAC controls are managed or are honoured in the Exchange Management Console, so I can only gain access to things that I've been given a role permission to do. And the other major change that we've made is the help is now um, 
focused on TechNet. I don't have an internet access here, so you won't see that. But you can see that rather than the help being displayed on the screen, it's displayed from TechNet, so you always have access to the latest help files. So it gives you an idea of some of the changes you can see in the Exchange Management Console for Exchange 2010. Thank you.